Hi, it's Craig, and I'm here to talk to you about the advanced feature set for Pocket Bible for Mac OS. Now, if you're already using Pocket Bible, the free version that you downloaded from our website, you know that it does almost everything that you need for personalized Bible study uh, using your Macintosh computer. But we've put together a few features that we think will further enhance your Bible study and make Pocket Bible an even more productive part of your daily study of God's Word. I want to walk you through the features of this advanced feature set just very quickly and give you an overview of what it can do for you. Okay, so I have Pocket Bible running here with the advanced feature set turned on, and you'll notice a couple different things right away about this screen. First of all, instead of just having one screen layout like you have in the free version of Pocket Bible, we have multiple tabbed layouts. So here's the layout that I use to take notes on Sunday morning during uh, the sermon, and, and then I might have another layout that I use um, for just daily Bible study. So one of the things that uh, is in the advanced feature set that I like to use is to create a special screen layout for my devotional reading. So I select the plus button to add a new layout, choose what I want it to look like, and I'll just do two vertical columns. Over here I'm going to open the devotional book uh, that I want to read through, and I'm going to use this uh, drawing near by John MacArthur. And then over in this other pane we're going to select a Bible, and King James Version is good enough. Uh, so this is how we might do our, our devotional reading. And the thing that's special about the advanced feature set is if I rename this layout and call it today, and let's scroll away from today, and now I'm over here doing my regular Bible study. When I want to do my devotional reading, I can select the Today button, and it automatically takes me to my Today layout. It positions my devotional to the devotional reading for today, and I'm all set up to begin reading. One of the uh, other little features that's in the advanced feature set is the ability to hover over a reference and see uh, the Bible verse. So as I move my mouse over these references, the Bible verse pops up. One of the other features of the advanced feature set is the ability to maximize a given book or a given pane in a layout. So in order to make it easier, for example, uh, to read from my Bible, I can uh, right-click on my Bible, tell it I want to maximize this book, and what the program does is expands just that book out into its own layout. So you see we've added a tab up here called ASV, and it contains only the, the ASV. And I could start here to create a new layout. I could add some commentaries or some other Bibles to it if I want. Or I can just use this to read through my Bible undistracted by any other material uh, that was in my previous layout. When I'm done with that, I can either keep it and uh, continue to use it that way, or I can just uh, delete that layout and go back to what I was looking at before. I also might find that I want to see... Um, Everything that's in a given pane, I want to maximize that. So here you can see I have about seven books open. I'm going to select one of these in the middle just so that you can tell which one is current. And this time we're going to maximize the entire pane. And when I do this, I get a brand new layout. It has the contents, as you can see down here. The same books that were in uh, my other uh, pane are now in this layout. And I can use this like this. I could split this pane and add another uh, pane to it, or when I'm done with it, uh, I can just close it. Uh, as you know, Pocket Bible gives you the ability to highlight Bible verses, and oftentimes people will use a uh, consistent organizational structure that's built around color. And so uh, what we allow you to do is give the colors names to remind you what the purpose of that color is. So here I have Exodus 19, 5 and 6 uh, highlighted in yellow and I might rename that color to be about obedience um, instead of yellow. So now when I go to highlight another verse uh, I'll see that the color yellow 
is labeled obedience rather than yellow. And I could go through and rename all my highlight colors that way and create a scheme of highlighting that's uh, built around topics instead of uh, having to remember what each color means. All right, let's take a look at some changes to the study panel that are part of the advanced feature set. Now, one of the things that changed is instead of using uh, tabs with uh, captions describing what each portion of the study panel is for, we've switched to this little mini toolbar here uh, that identifies the function of each uh, pane in the study panel. And there's some new ones. For example, here's the journal. And uh, in the journal, where we can take notes that are not attached to any particular uh, Bible verse. So I can just go to the journal, tell it I want to add a note, and now this is just a note. It's not attached to any particular Bible verse, and I can give it a name. And, um, and there you go. It's just a note, and it has a name, and if I look on my list, I can see it right here that uh, there's my note. It's not attached to this Bible verse, it's just a freestanding note. Another new feature in the advanced feature set is the ability to uh, search your entire library for words and phrases. I have 106 books installed, so some of these searches can, can take quite a while, but Pocket Bible will uh, perform them nevertheless. So the easiest searches are just to do a search for a word like faith, and uh, that searches all 106 books and returns uh, results fairly quickly. And uh, as you can see there, it sorts them in order by uh, how frequently they occur. Um, if we do uh, a more complex search, like John the Baptist, um, it's going to take a while because it has to look at every occurrence uh, of the words John, the, and Baptist and make sure that they occur in that order. And what we got back uh, was, um, in this case, the Expositor's Bible Commentary, 156 exact matches, but there's also 11 places where John the Baptist occurs. All three of those words occur. It just occurs in a different order. And uh, if, we, if we're interested in, in seeing the actual results, we can click on one of these, and that brings us into a... Um, into our regular search for John the Baptist and shows us um, all of the results. All right, and another new feature on the study panel is what we call the Library Navigator. And the Library Navigator allows us to quickly see everywhere in our library that a particular Bible verse is mentioned. So as I scroll through the Bible text here, I'm in Exodus 19.5, and I'm going to see everywhere that Exodus 19.5 is discussed in any of the books uh, that I've selected out of my library. So as I scroll through the Bible text, the list over on the left is being updated to show you everywhere that uh, the verse that I'm on is mentioned. Now oftentimes there's more results than what will fit on here, so you see it says six more results. I click on that and it tells me, it goes into the detail and shows me everywhere that that verse is uh, mentioned. All right, the last thing that we're going to look at is a series of uh, features that we call auto study. And auto study allows you to very quickly pull together everything in your library related to a single verse or a word or uh, even a date uh, when we are talking about devotionals. So let's start here with Exodus uh, chapter 20 and verse 1. We're looking at the Ten Commandments here and um, which actually runs down through uh, verse 17. So we can select uh, right click on on the verse. We tell it we want to do an auto study uh, we'll go ahead and do the whole passage, 1 to 17. And then it asks, what kind of books do you want to include in your auto study? And um, I have a little bit of everything. In fact, I have my entire library selected here. So we'll just leave that selected and see what happens. So when I tell it I want to view the auto study, Pocket Bible goes off to all the resources that I have installed and finds everything 
uh, related to Exodus 20, verses 1 to 17. So we start with, that's the passage out of the Bible that we were in, and then we get the, pi the passage in every other Bible that I have installed. Um, and then we're going to get down to uh, exhaustive concordances, which are Bibles with Strong's numbers. Um, there should be a couple of those. And then we begin to get commentary. And so we get all of our commentary. Now if we go over here to print, and this may take it a minute, you can see there's 258 pages if we were to print that out. As you can see, we could print. We can also save it uh, to a file to look at later. And we can go back and change the options, perhaps remove some of the, the books and run it again to uh, make it a little more concise. Now, similarly, we can do a search on a word. So let's take the word Sabbath and do an auto study on that word. And in this case, I'm going to have the same kinds of choices. Um, dictionary definitions, Bibles, Bibles with Strong's numbers, etc. And when we view those, we start out with definitions from our dictionaries. And there's going to be a bunch of those. And then we get a search summary, tells us how many times the word Sabbath occurs in each of those Bibles. We'll see all the Strong's numbers that are translated to the word Sabbath. And then we get all of the definitions of those numbers. One of the nice uh, auto studies is called Auto Study Today. Uh, so we'll take uh, today's reading from our uh, devotional, which is the Drawing Near uh, devotional, and uh, do an auto study on it. So let's auto study that day. And we're going to, I don't want all of those devotionals, I just want the one that I want, which is Drawing Near. And I don't need all of my Bibles. I'm just going to select the uh, NIV. And what I get is the text from the book Drawing Near, which is my devotional reading for the day. And as you can see, there's several places where scripture verses are cited. And so at the end, I get all those, those scripture verses uh, in this document, which I could print or I could email to myself or email to someone else and um, and they would have that day's readings all in one place. Now one of the one of the uh, types of devotionals that this comes in handy for are these um, like here's the whole Bible in a year, here's Old Testament, New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs in a year. And when we view this one you can see there's four different passages and we very quickly brought those four passages all into this document so that we can uh, do our daily Bible reading uh, right from here as opposed to having a, to click our way through those passages using Pocket Bible. Okay, so those are the features of the advanced feature set. As time goes on, we'll probably add to those and enhance them in some other ways. And uh, when we do that, you automatically get those updates if you own the advanced feature set. So uh, check it out, and I think it will go a long ways toward improving your productivity with Pocket Bible.